Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for August 28th of 2022. Well, it is titled Perijove 11 passing Jupiter. So what do we see here? Well, this is an image, actually a video clip shown from the Juno spacecraft, which is a pass which has been orbiting Jupiter since 2016. And this is from Perijove 11. Now you may wonder what Perijove means. Well, the prefix per prefix peri it just means that it's the closest approach and Jove standing for Jupiter. So a Perijove is its closest approach to Jupiter. And this was number 11 of those this was the 11th time Juno passed very close to Jupiter's surface. Juno is in a very highly elliptical orbit. So let's go ahead and play the video and watch as this happens. So we can see first of all that the we're starting to come up towards part of the uh, planet here. And we can see that appearing in the lower portion of the screen. And we can see the blue color around the pole there. And we can also see very many swirling storms and all the turbulence associated with them. And then as we approach in closer and head towards the more equatorial regions, it changes from a yellow into a red. And we see the distinct banding structure that we associate with Jupiter. We make our closest approach and then start to recede towards the other side and we can again see all of that banding alternating light and dark bands and great storms in the atmosphere with lots of turbulence and we can see all the flow of the various currents going on in Jupiter's atmosphere and then we head off towards the other pole and again we see the blue color associated with the pole. Now this is an unusual orbit for a spacecraft. Uh, it's a, what we call a polar orbit, meaning that it orbits around the poles of Jupiter. And that allows it to see things a little bit differently. And we get a better look at the polar regions than you would from something with an equatorial orbit, which is typically how we approach the planets. So this gives us a different view of Jupiter and a better way to study the poles, which are usually neglected in this kind of thing. It's also a very elliptical orbit, meaning that Jupiter swoops in once every month or two, comes real close to Jupiter, getting us some very detailed up close images, and then heads back out. Now because of one of the laws of planetary motion, the object will move faster when closer to the planet and slow when it's further away. So it zips right by when it passes close to Jupiter and spends the vast majority of its orbit much further away. Now to do this, why are we not just in a close orbit? Well, it's for the survival of the spacecraft. Jupiter has very high radiation fields and radiation belts. And this allows us to observe, uh, get in there once in a while, get a real close observation, and then jump back out, get much further out and be able to be far away from the radiation that could damage the spacecraft. So here we get to see Perijove 11 from 2018, one of the times the Juno spacecraft swept in very close to Jupiter. So that was our picture of the day for August 28th of 2022. It was titled Perijove 11 passing Jupiter. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be Starless Horse. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone. And I will see you in class.